enormous, enormous, uh, and 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 inexplicable. Um, and so we believe it's it's unfair. That's Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir's take on a proposed tax hike on some tobacco products. The hike could hurt Kentucky farmers who rely on that cash crop. Now, the Kentucky tobacco fight is happening all the way across the country in Washington, D.C. It's tied to President Biden's proposed $3.5 billion budget proposal. Local 12's James Pilcher shows us how northern Kentucky farmers could take a hit. Farmers in Kentucky have been growing burly tobacco like this for more than 150 years for use in products like cigarettes, cigars, and chewing tobacco. But the recent budget proposal by the White House would double the taxes at the consumer end on some of those products. And that has farmers like the Jones Brothers here in Gallatin County worried about the impact on their family business. Brothers Taylor and Zach started farming here outside Warsaw in 2013 following in the footsteps of their grandfather. Taylor says the farm would definitely take a hit from the taxes, even though they would be paid by the consumer. At the end of the day, it's just going to lower demand for, you know, it's going to lower consumption for tobacco products. The Biden budget doubles the federal tax on a pack of cigarettes to more than $2, according to the Tax Foundation. There would also be increases of more than $2 a can for dipping tobacco and snuff packets. Kentucky's tobacco industry has already declined significantly in the last 20 years, going from more than nearly a billion dollars worth of crops in 1997 to just $237 million last year. Still, it is one of the state's top eight crops, according to Kentucky Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles, whose family also grows tobacco. What kind of impact is this going to have on farmers and yourself, and what can you do about it? Well, this is another example of taxing an industry that's already taxed enough. The Kentucky farmer only gets between five cents and seven cents of that seven dollars that has been on a pack of cigarettes. Governor Andy Bashir said he was against smoking, but also against these proposed new taxes. It's going to cause significant, uh, severe and very quick uh, job loss in Kentucky. The Jones brothers are trying to diversify starting a home delivery produce business. So we do a lot of things that are growing good things, you know, nutritional, healthy things. But at the end of the day, this helps pay for the farm. In Gallatin County, outside Warsaw, Kentucky, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. The Local 12 reached out to the White House for comment on the budget bill, but we didn't get a response.